And welcome back everyone. You know, after that last tease going into the commercial break, I now can't get Taylor Swift out of my head. By the way, if you're going to the concert tonight, I'd love to see any pictures or videos. If you post them on social media, maybe send me an email with a link. Let me know. It's allen.rose at kowa.com. Uh, let's take a look at the severe weather status today. Not going to be a widespread severe threat. Most of it should be on the south end of Denver down through the Raton Mesa and really the strongest stuff is going to be into parts of Werfano and Los Animas County, generally between about one and sunset, although some lingering storms could continue through about 9, 10 o'clock. Large hail damage and gusts the main threats, but we can't rule out a few isolated tornadoes, especially down across the southern state line. And today, of course, the day that we wrap up the Pikes Peak or Bust Rodeo here in Colorado Springs, that taking place at the Norris Penrose Event Center. And again, around six, there could be a few hit or miss showers. No need to cancel your plans to head out there. Just make sure you have the umbrella and the rain gear in case you encounter one of those quick moving storms. By around seven, eight o'clock, we're drying out. And by 10 o'clock, a beautiful end to the rodeo this year. Temp down to the upper 60s. Take a look at that lone cloud right on top of Pikes Peak. Otherwise, lots of blue in the sky this morning. Current temperature sitting at about 66 degrees. Right now, warming steadily already as we're now just past the 8 o'clock hour here in Pueblo. 69 your outside temperature looking nice and clear, bright and sunny in Canyon City where it's currently sitting at 69 degrees. And your out the door temperature this morning in Woodland Park currently sitting at about 55 degrees. Now let's talk about the timing of today's storms. Not only will it be a storm of your afternoon here in southern Colorado, also going to be about 5 to 10 degrees cooler than what we saw yesterday. I think storms begin to initiate right around the lunch hour, maybe as early as noon, 1 o'clock parts of the Pikes Peak region. They'll move in a southeasterly direction and the model does show the potential for a few strong to severe storms to parts of Teller County, El Paso, Pueblo and Fremont counties through about five, six o'clock. I think rain wraps up here relatively early, but look at some of these stronger storms down south. I did mention Werfano County, Los Animas County, even parts of Baca County could see some of those more severe storms develop with that hail in excess of one to two inches in diameter. So stormy today, but becoming hot again on Sunday. Let me show you why. See all these pink shaded areas and peach shaded areas out west. Those are excessive heat warning and heat advisories that continue through early next week. That's because we have that big dome of high pressure that has shifted west from what we saw earlier in the week when it was closer to us, but it moves back towards Colorado as we head towards Sunday and early parts of next week, and that's going to bring that heat from the west back here into the Centennial State. Today, enjoy that slight cool down. We'll be at 74 in Woodland Park, 79 in Springs, and 87 today in Pueblo. And let's talk about storm chances for today on the super seven day forecast. Not going to be a super stormy day, but I think we will see a few rounds of rain that move across the sky this afternoon, generally breaking up between about five and seven o'clock. Then look at the heat next week. That becomes the big story in the extended. Could see a record setting day on Monday, possibly on Tuesday with highs well into the 90s. For Pueblo, we go from the 80s today to the triple digits early next week. Then as that ridge break down, opens up the door for some more moisture to move back in from Wednesday to Friday. Canyon City, some storms today, then drying out and heating up from Sunday into early next week. Afternoon and evening storms returning beginning Wednesday. Woodland Park, we've got a couple of dry and hotter days from Sunday to Monday. Isolated storm possible here Tuesday, and then more active days Wednesday to Thursday. So sort of a mixed bag this weekend. It'll be hot and sunny tomorrow, but today a little cooler, a little stormier here in Southern Colorado. Yeah, you hit hit it right on the head as far as uh, it being a very dynamic forecast. I mean, yeah. there's something in there for everyone, because I'm sure you've heard the same thing. There's a lot of people that have said, boy, I've really enjoyed you know, this rain because yeah. we just don't see it, you know, the cooler days. And then some people, they wanted the heat. They finally got it last right. week. So, I mean, we're seeing a little bit of everything. A little of everything. I know we have a lot of storm chasers here in Colorado because it could be ground zero for severe weather. They even like the hail. Me, not so much. I don't like the super active days. I know we don't like to see the large hail, but you're right. The rain certainly beneficial to the state. Yeah, thunderstorms, not too bad in my book. But, yeah, keep the hail away from me. It I don't totally want any hail damage. Agree. All right. <laughs>